Morning. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. We've had a very relaxing morning. Faffed for two hours. Went to the toilet about a thousand times. It's just nerves. I don't need the toilet. It's just nerves. We've now booked an Uber and we're going to go to the finish to drop our bags. And then we got on a shuttle bus to go to Hopkinton, which is the start. If you don't know, Boston is a, from a southwest to a northeast course. So it's an A to B. It's a slight headwind, but it's low. The sun's out, so. I'll jump in the Uber and we'll catch you at bag check. Bag drop, baby. The atmosphere is so good already. Is the vibe? We'll be all right here. Thanks, Ray. Think so. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for Bags dropped. We're good to go. We've now got these little boys. We're going for a wee and then we'll get on our shuttle bus, which are these old school, they use these old school yellow um, school buses for the bags. They put them through the windows and to shuttle the runners to the start. It's not a circular route, so it seems so well organised already. That was awful. Oh. If you Goodwill hunting fans out there, this is the park in that scene where Robin Williams sits Matt Damon down and talks to him about life. Very famous scene. I reckon it was this bench. Probably one of these benches we're walking past now. Very cool. We have got so lucky with the weather, I just hope it stays. It's forecast to stay. We're just heading to the buses now, which, I mean, they're going to be over there somewhere. The crowds are there. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the enormous queue and find a bus to get on. Who is gonna no, run the town? Oh, yeah, I think it's like a Jay Z bit. Goodwill haunting. <laughs> I could spend my whole life goodwill hunting. Only good gonna come is it's good when I'm coming. I think my next pair will be one. Bye bye. Made it. Wrong turn, but like an hour and 15. Yeah, she missed the exit, bless her. We finally made it. It is currently 9.37. The race starts at 10 o'clock, so you have 23 minutes. That's fine. 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 Good morning, good morning, everyone. Let's get it done. You're going to stick with Ben, and you might hopefully see me later on in the race. Ben will talk to you about strategy, but yeah, I'm going to say bye bye and I will see you later on. Let's go! See you in a bit. Let's go. Feeling good? Feeling good. Just warming up. The corrals are moving down. It's a mile to the start line from the athlete village where we got dropped off, so just using it to warm up. Good weather, good atmosphere. Safety 
so I need to uh, really slow down. It's quite a steep downhill. I'm gonna try and make it through the first mile or so, and then I'll check in with you to tell you the part. Catch it. gone through two miles in 16 minutes <laughs> now there's a bit of an intricate plan we've got so Nick is meant to be starting her wave at 10.25 well I've just chosen to talk to you right on an uphill absolutely ideal and I started about 10.04 she's starting hopefully around 22 minutes behind me and the idea is that I'm just going to jog it and she's going to catch up with me around 50 miles. Now I know her pace so I know how slow I'm going to have to go which is kind of mid 8 minute miles, 8.30s, 8.40s, 8.50s, something like that which is about 5.30k's and I've gone through the first two miles in 5 minute k's, 8 minute miles. So I'm going too quick but it is a very downhill start so I really am holding back a lot, but it's hard, it's really hard. Let's go, Nick. She'll be starting literally about now, so let's get it. <laughs> Just hit four miles. This is a beautiful downhill. A whole mile from us like this, it'll be absolutely insane. Really holding back. Just getting chatting to people, like some of the stories are so cool. People here are for runs. Spoke to someone doing their 14th Boston Marathon. Insane. Love that coming. It's a proper journey for people, so yeah, absolutely love it. Crowds are insane. Going for all the little towns, villages, literally everyone comes out. Yeah, you kind of go through little quiet patches. You go through those, so there's not a lot of not a lot of fans up there now, but just back there. Cowbells going, fans screaming. Flipping awesome. I mean, annoyingly still going a bit ahead. I've got the text from Nick. She started at 10.26. So yeah, right at the start of the wave, which was ideal. But I really need to slow down if I'm going to get to the bottom of the hill. Yeah, fingers crossed. Discipline, Ben. The last thing I said to Nick before I left her, I was like, don't forget discipline. God, do what I say, not what I do, hey? Anyway, please catch up in a bit. So close to each other. You really like that the weight line. So good. I'm tinkering. Got a gel. I'm going to be in about 52 minutes. I'm massively slow, which is important. <laughs> but this is such a cool marathon. Oh, nice tribute to Ukraine as well. With the flags. Yeah, check this out, literally. Awesome. Bit of a check in. Check these guys out. Legends, legends. Just gone past nine miles. I've got a friend, Kate, who we went shopping with on Saturday. She's about 12 miles, so I'm gonna try and spot her and uh, give her a high five and help. So, catch up with you then. Peace. About to hit Wellesley College. Known for his big crowds, so let's see how this goes.
the 14 mile mark. So, yeah, over halfway. Just gone through Wellesley. The crowds were crazy in that time, so they were like two, three deep for about two miles. It was crazy. I was actually hoping to stop and find out how Nick's doing because I think I need to kill some time. I might pull over at one point just for a few minutes. Otherwise, she's not going to catch me before the hills, which is our plan. So, I'm feeling good. Hope Nick's going well. We are two hours in, so she's probably about an hour and a half in. So, she's probably just before halfway. So, she's probably about a mile, mile and a half behind me. You go, Nick, you got this. I forgot to mention, it suddenly got very busy around me. Because I started in the first wave, and I'm jogging relatively slowly for that wave, there was a period where like all the wave one runners had passed me, and all the wave two runners hadn't caught to me yet. So I was in like this really, really quiet stretch for about five miles. There was hardly anyone around me. But now all the fast wave two runners are coming up to me and absolutely flying past me. So it's got busy again, which is nice because all the crowds are well up for it. So. I'm absolutely loving it. It's so good. Anyone who's thinking about doing Boston, just do it. I also want to plug all the volunteers. I've tried to thank as many as I can all the way around, but a huge thank you. Absolutely amazing job. Just brilliant, so supportive. Big up the volunteers. How's that going? Uh, she's about a mile behind you. Is she? Bit, yeah. I might just wait for like five minutes. To... All right. Yeah. Drink right <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks for coming out. Oh, no. oh, I'm still videoing. We have this one and we have this one. Thank you, Kate. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Kate, for that little pit stop. That was awesome. So I know that Nick went through halfway in two hours and two minutes, which is magnifique. That was. Oh, trying to do the maths. So she should be at around mile 16. At around 2.23, 21 minutes later, roughly. And I've literally hit 15 miles now. The time is 12.13. So if I can do a 10 minute mile, the 15 mile mark is actually up here. If I can do a nine minute mile, <laughs> downhill, then hopefully she'll get me at around 16, which would be perfect. So I need to start keeping an eye out behind me for her. Come on, Nick. Let's go. Yes, I was fired. This is. Thank you. Thank you. You're smashing it. Kate told me what the times were, so you don't need to worry about telling me. I'm really, really happy. I'm not quite in there. All right. Time to enjoy. We've entered Newton Hills. I think we're on the third or fourth, which means the next one is the infamous heartbreak. Last, I think it's about 12k. Just going to try and enjoy it. Nick's doing so well. Border ankle in the first k. Hardly ideal. And that is a quick downhill start for us, so he's absolutely smashing it. Pushing up these hills. Great work. I think we're at the top of Heartbreak Hill. And if you can see behind me. At least, but there might well be one left because on the watch is only 19 and a half miles, but I'm pretty sure it was at 20, so could well be one more, but that was a pretty Pretty brutal hill. Let's keep going. This is it. The famous heartbreak.
course. It is a net downhill all the way to the finish house. Enjoy the ride home. My God. Some final words. I got a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. 21, two miles in. About four and a half to go. This is what we do it for. My time is gone, but I just don't care. I'm not going to let my time ruin my time. Go. Come on, we got this. We have got We are in the final half mile. We're about to turn onto Bolton Street. And I think it's the perfect time to say this experience has been unbelievable. The last few miles have been tough, real tough, legs have been cramping. Nick's put in absolute camping on the front. But the crowd, oh, I mean, you can hear them. I'm, I have no idea if you can hear me. It is unbelievable. Any marathon is struggling. Survival this. Right, we're going to turn onto Bulls of Street now. We'll turn this corner and see the finish. And let's just enjoy these final, final few metres. Oh, Chris. I don't even know, I haven't even looked at the data. So I was holding 4.30s, I just didn't feel good. And the hills just got me like, even though it's a neck downhill, there was like a very limited flat. So my quads were shot. And then I, I made the conscious decision to go to 4.40s and felt fine at that. Between 16 and 21 miles of the four hills, right? And we had a discussion that hopefully we would meet before Heartbreak Hill. And after the first of the four hills, 
because I could see it go up and I saw Ben's yellow hat and his orange vest and he was probably like 100, 200 meters in front of me and I was blowing. I was worried that he was then gonna shoot off, but thankfully you turn around and then we got yeah, each other. Yeah, I'd, I'd kind of, because I was going at a pace that like, you wouldn't have caught me even if you were going on pace until like 22 miles. So I had to make that conscious decision of like, right, I'm gonna spend five minutes on the side of the road here. So I chatted to Kate for five minutes and then I left and then obviously it was about, it was about what, 17 miles you caught me. And as soon as I knew three, 10 had gone, my goal was, I just, was just to have a good time and soak it up. And, and the hills, damn it, I'm not walking. My legs felt like jelly. I mean, run, run. Did run. I did, but it looked awful. And then it was like downhill again to the finish, which you think would be fab. But I tell you what, my quads were just hammered. They just kept cramping. I have not felt cramped like this, I think, since the Paris Marathon, which was incredibly hot. And that was in 2017. I don't know, but I was just taking everything and I think just too much water and it finish was incredible. But the Boston Street finish is very, very oh. cool. And with the Boston Strong. I was absolutely screaming at you. Yeah. I said I would as well, didn't I? Yeah, I said I was. Good. We were moving, we were going like four minute cave pace, like you were flying. So. I think across the line, I think it's not official, 319, similar it's, time it's to Chicago. It's I mean, yes, I'd love 309, but 10 minutes with those hills and how I felt, I felt, honestly felt awful from seven miles. So good day. So we're about to jump on the train back have a shower, warm up, chill for a bit, and then we'll probably go out and have a few beers. Yeah. Well, I'll have a few, you might have one. Yeah, we'll see how it hits. We did a bit of both. I guess I went for a PB, wasn't on. Then we ran together and that was just, you know, tick two boxes. Because if I hadn't have gone out at PB pace, I'd never have known. Yeah. So I don't regret a thing. I had just had a great day. First time we run a marathon together, really. Yeah, finished together. Finished together. Yeah, yeah. it was that great. Was nice. Just enjoying a little swing. Come out for dinner, but I needed to sit down. We're trying to choose a restaurant and we've walked quite quite a long way. <laughs> More like half a mile. So we found these swings. Pretty cool. Having a great like, time. There's, down there. there's a whole row of them. Just chilling. I could fall asleep. chowder which we had on our first night no second night i think it must be a thing here because it's so good it's really good and we also had a cannoli for dessert which is a famous like sweet pastry a speed roll with like custard in it. it's really good though. i think it's italian but then there are like loads of cannoli places here too from modern pastry modern pastry we got told don't go to mike's yeah. go to modern pastries so, anyway, anyway thank you so much if you've made it this far into the video i didn't get a pb but we got to run together and we are two Boston Marathon finishers, which feels very, very good. Our next video- we'll Probably be in New York. We'll probably be in New York. So we're going to New York tomorrow for four nights and then home. So we might vlog a bit there. Yeah, but thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. We've caught the sun, haven't we? We're, we're really red. Honestly, our shoulders here are- We're like drumstick lollies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We hope you're keeping well. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.